I get a burden once in a while and, and I just have to talk about it. Hi everybody, welcome back. Let's talk about gloom and doom. The world is so much full of gloom and doom right now. We don't know who won the election. They're saying we know who won the election, but they're recounting. Trump is arguing his point. It, it, it's just a thing. It's just a thing in the US right now. Who's winning the election? What should we do? Who should we count on? Who should we trust? That's the main thing. The last week, this past week, in my heart, I've had another one of those burdens. <laughs> you know, I get a burden once in a while and, and I just have to talk about it. And I've had another one of those burdens and it's, Michelle, take it back to the beginning. Take it back to the beginning. And I'm like, huh? Take it back to the beginning. In the Bible, take it to the beginning. All the gloom and doom that's happening right now, take it back to the start. Where did it start from? Genesis chapter 1. That's where it started. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Chapter 1, verse 1. If God can create the heavens and the earth, He's almighty, all-powerful. Don't you think He has this election? He knows exactly what He's doing. If He can create, go back to the beginning, take it back. If he can create the heaven and the earth. He's got this. Whatever's going to happen in the world today, God's got this, and we just need to trust Him. That's what we all should be doing right now. The news, turn, turn your news off, open your Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Think about that, just think about that. How amazing is our God for doing that? How amazing is that, that He is, He can, uh, just think about it, just Think about all that God has created in this tiny little part of our life right now with the election and everything that's going on right now. It's just a little tiny piece of everything that's going on in the world. God has this. God's got this. We don't we don't need to worry. We don't need to worry. He know he knows what he's doing. It's funny because when I when I pick my Bible up to read Genesis chapter one and I have the I have the new international student Bible I really like this Bible it's easy to read it's it's the right one for me for me it's the right one but it's it's I pick the Bible up and I'm like I read in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then my eyes immediately went over to Genesis and Revelation because right now everybody's talking about the revelations and the end times and God is coming back soon be prepared it, it, he's talked there goes my cat the world's talking about all that and my eyes had they came over to the spot over here I don't know if you could see it, it says Genesis and Revelations I'm gonna read it to you stick with me stick with me I, I'll get through it quick it says Many people read the Old Testament as though it portrayed the bad old days before Jesus, but that's not an accurate picture. Actually, the first three chapters of Genesis link to the last book of the Bible, Revelations. They are like brackets of perfection around the sadness of life marred by sin, death, suffering, and hatred. In Genesis, we learn that life didn't start out that way. In Revelations, we find out it won't end that way either. But the Old Testament and the New Testament takes place between those two brackets. Through Abraham, through Moses, ultimately in Jesus, God is hard at work to make things right. So, for all of us that believe God, God's going to make it right for us. He's not going to leave us stranded in the, in the dark, in the dirt. God's going to make it right for every one of us. We have to go through trials and tribulations. Sure, we'll have to do that. We're doing that now. I've done that in my life. My entire life has been a trial and a tribulation just to get to this point. And I wouldn't change it for anything. I would change nothing I went through. I wouldn't change because it made me who I am today. So, look at the big picture. Look, look what God has done. Take it back to the beginning. I'm going to start reading the book of Genesis. That's what I'm going to do over this next month. And I encourage you, take it back to the beginning and see what God did for all of us. All right, 
I'll see you in my next video. Bye.